Welcome back to the Tool Crib. In this video, I'm going to be taking a traditional ground clamp whip that we use on our engine driven welders and I'm going to be swapping it out for a Max Switch 300 amp ground clamp. Now, I've used these in the past. In fact, I have a couple of these that I use on uh, Lincoln 256s, our, our, our MIG welders, and they have held up incredibly well, even at a 100% duty cycle running for three and four hours at a time on on standard wire or on flux core they have held up incredibly well now mag switch makes a couple of different versions of these they have 300 amp 600 amp and 800 amp i don't see the need to go up for it especially on my engine driven welders because we're never running 100 percent duty cycle on those but it just seems more and more i've gotten in places where i just don't have anything to clamp to and so the ability to have a whip that we can quickly plug into with the mag switch is going to be incredibly convenient now to do this, uh, I've got the ring terminal. This is a Tweco T120 uh, made for one aught cable for this cable. And we're gonna be taking this off, uh, installing the ring terminal with our uh, new tool that I picked up. This is the Timco uh, TH0020. Now this runs from number 10 all the way to four aught and then uh, 250 all the way to 400 uh, MCM as well. So the way this works is it has a screw you just uh, set it to the proper gauge. In this case, we're going to be doing one aught cable. And what I like about these is it's extendable. So the handles just unscrew, bring them out, and you're able to get a lot more leverage on this. Now they have, I thought about at one, at one time investing in the dyed crimpers, but no, no more often than what I do this or, or have the need to do this, it really wasn't worth the investment for me. So if I was doing battery terminals uh, on the regular or something like that, then I would probably go ahead and invest in that kind of, uh, you know, that more high dollar tool. But for our needs, I think the dialers crimper is going to work out pretty well. Uh, these things are pretty awesome. The max switches. We, like I said before, we've used these, we have these on a couple of Lincoln 256s that are even run 100% duty cycle. Work really, really well, and so they're not going to be any problem on our engine driven welder. So let me get this uh, regular clamp off of here. We'll get the cable stripped down, cleaned up, and we'll get this installed, see how it works out. Well, the good thing that I did when I was at the welding supply is I picked up a couple of these ring terminals and, uh, because I was kind of afraid. They, you know, the guy at the counter told me that T120, the 225, 225 amp, was supposed to fit the one aught cable. But I decided to go ahead and pick up a couple of the T62s, which are 150 amp ring terminals that are that I, I thought were probably going to be closer fit for the... Uh, for the one aught cable and it turns out I was right. So we're gonna be using a little smaller one. We're gonna put a 150 amp uh, ring terminal on here from Tweco instead. So I like to go ahead and put a double crimp on here and then I just brought the flare down a little bit with a hammer and now I need to go get uh, some shrink tape 
or some uh, shrink tube in order to kind of seal this up a little bit better. And uh, you know, the, the the crimp does a really good job and it's it's in there very solid. It's just that, I don't know, it's not the prettiest look. I guess when we get the, uh, when we get the shrink tube over there that it should, uh, it'll look a lot better. But I'm pretty impressed with how well that crimps. It's just, you know, if at a later date, I might invest, I might go ahead and invest in a dyed crimper. But for right now, I think for what we need to do, I think that's going to work just fine. Okay, now that we got some heat shriek on it, all we got to do is just uh, set this on there and get it heated up and we'll be good to go. Well, after having to run down to Home Depot real quick and buy some new heat shrink, because I thought I had some, but apparently I ran out. Uh, this is, uh, I got one more of these to do, but this is a pretty simple project to do with uh, the Max Switch Safe, or the Max Switch ground clamp, which is an excellent ground clamp. Uh, in fact, I, I have quite a few tools from Mag Switch, as a matter of fact. And then the Timco T80020. I like this dialless crimper. It did a pretty good job on, on this type of crimp. And it's not something that I have to do that often. If, I, Like I said, if I was working with battery cables and I was doing this as a constant deal, I'd probably get dyed crimpers. But for what I need, uh, this is going to work well. And I, I just like the lever action. Just I feel like it makes a smoother crimp than those hammer crimps. And uh, putting a couple crimps on here, and then I just had to kind of beat the flare down a little bit to get it a little bit more uniform on the end there. Some heat shrink, and it turned out pretty well. So I'm pretty happy with that. Anyway, this is the Mag Switch uh, 300 amp ground clamp and the Tempco TH0020 dialless crimper. My name is Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next one.